we look at voltages in parallel and currents in parallel, it's slightly different from a series circuit. We use the same circuit as we used when explaining the series uh, currents and voltages, but they're connected differently this time because you've got one really on top of the other, one in parallel with each other. So there's more than one direction in which the current can flow, and that means that the way voltage and current behave in a parallel circuit is different from in a series circuit. So if we look at voltage first of all, if we take a voltage of B3 across the battery and we take the voltage with a voltmeter across both of these bulbs, then we find that they are all equal to each other. So the voltage is the same at all points. We can verify that by looking at the brightness of the bulbs. The brightness of the bulbs would be the same. So however many of these you connect in there, they will all be the same brightness, indicating that they have the same voltage. So the voltage in a parallel circuit is the same at all points. If we then look at current, we have a current coming out of the battery, or the electrons are flowing here, but they reach this point and they have to choose which way to go. So some of it will go down this way and some of it will go this way. So that's where we have I2 and I3. And if you look at the, if you connect an ammeter into here, here and here, you will find that the current that is coming out of the battery is equal to the sum of these currents in each individual branch within the parallel circuit. So I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. So the current in a parallel circuit is a sum of all the currents that are in the branches of the circuit, but the branches of the circuit look like this. So that would be me adding a third branch there. So there would be a certain amount of current here that would go down this way. And this, if this was I4, then I1 would be equal to I2 plus I3 plus I4. And that happens for however many branches you've got. So if we extend that to about 20, 20 different bulbs, that might be how um, your Christmas lights are connected. So that's beneficial because if one of them goes out, then you can tell which one is, has gone out because current can still flow through all the other branches. Um, if Christmas lights are connected in series, one of them goes out, they all go out. And therefore that's not a good thing because you don't know which one to replace. It also means that they all receive the same brightness because they have the same voltage. So voltage is the same at all points, current gets split up across the components.